let's try this question about Newton's second law. So before I let you try it, I would like to tell you uh, there are a few steps that you may follow which can help you to solve mechanics question in general. So the first step is to draw the free body diagram. When you try to draw it, uh, you may need to decide whether you want to draw it on one single object like this one and this one separately or would you want to draw for the whole system and usually if you want to analyze um, internal force like here you have tension on both of them and this is an internal force and if you want to know more about it maybe the question already given you that or uh, maybe that will be useful for your calculation then very likely you will need to separate the two free body diagram okay so one by one so you need to draw two in total after that you may want to use f equals to ma to start with your own calculation and presentation uh, although this equation is very simple you still need to write it because this is your foundation to you know to base on uh, this idea so you need to write it out to show your presentation the next thing that you usually do is to devise uh, the F equals MA on two axes and usually in this question will be vertically and horizontally in the future we may get to use uh, some other unusual uh, axes so it may not be vertical and horizontal but usually uh, it will be these two so vertical and horizontal and you may not find all of them will be useful um, but then if you list all of them out uh, then you can clearly see systematically see uh, what will be useful for you to solve next and at the end of course you just solve uh, whatever you want to find from the equation that you listed from step 3 so you may want to pause the video now try it out following my steps if you really find it difficult then you may uh, play the video later on uh, and maybe pause at the time that you find yourself more confident Okay, let's take a look at the question. The question told us that uh, there are two blocks, one is 4 kg, 6 kg, they are joined by a string. Uh, just by the way to say, uh, in all IB physics questions, unless they specify, uh, the string that we are talking about uh, will always be massless and also inelastic. Okay, the reason I said this is because uh, if the string it has a significant mass that you cannot ignore, or in itself it is elastic then uh, the physical concept behind or the calculation you want to set up uh, for the equation will be much more complicated so that may be affecting for example if you're doing your IA or uh, simply your physical experiment uh, then it may affect your predicted result um, and so you may want to be careful with the idea of massless and inelastic so here uh, we just treat them as normal string uh, so it should be quite easy to calculate uh, the next thing is uh, they are on the frictionless, frictionless t uh, table so no friction again it will be easy uh, there is an apply force that's 100 newton to the right and it asks you to find the acceleration okay so um, the first thing that you may want to realize is uh, these two if I call acceleration of each of them as A4 and A6 just a notation to uh, indicate its acceleration uh, they should be the same acceleration because think about if uh, A6 go much faster than A4 it is not really possible in our case because it's, the string is inelastic so you can't have these go much faster and then uh, 4kg that one go a bit slower it's not, it's not really possible or the other way around uh, that A for the one behind is going faster than uh, the the first one then in that case then obviously uh, then the later one will kind of catch up with the later one and in that case the string will slack okay and in that case of course there's no force in the uh, string that is a tension so if tension is zero then how can the box uh, like increase the speed right so uh, so using this logic then we can actually deduce that they are of the same acceleration so let's start with our first step of drawing the free body diagram so for the 4 kg that one 
it will simply be having a tension okay I'll just write 4 here and then you have weight and you may have reaction force and that's all right there's no um, friction and as in for the 6 kg that one you have the tension actually they have already drawn to you so it should be quite easy 100 newtons which is the applied force I'll just call it using lowercase f and here there's a weight uh, let's just put weight w4 and w6 and here uh, I try to draw a little bit better r6 and r4 okay so that would be the free body diagram for both of them and now I'll do uh, the step 2 which is the f equals ma for horizontally and uh, vertically but then in this question you can already see that uh, vertically you don't see much right because it's just the two force are uh, the same so I will just simply skip the vertical one and focus on the horizontal so for uh, each of them I will put down F equals to MA to start with and then uh, for the 4 kg that one there's actually only one force that is T equals to uh, M4 which is 4 and then A is uh, well let's just put them as simple A right because as I said the acceleration is the same and this is one equation and then for, for the 6 kg that one uh, it will be moving to the right as I suppose so I actually uh, was taking right direction as positive I should have done this earlier and then uh, we have 100 because 100 is to the right so 100 minus the tangent going to the left equals to 6 kg times a this would be the equation 2 so if you try to uh, solve the equation you may simply uh, substitute 1 into 2 and you have 100 minus 4a equals to 6a so obviously 100 equal to 10a and a equals to 10 meter per second squared so this is the answer for part a let me just write here okay so this will be the steps that we uh, we do for this question so let's take a look of part b then uh, part b said now the setup uh, is changed the 4 kg that one is now on top of the other block that is uh, 6 kg basically and something we learned about in the previous video uh, coefficients of static friction uh, the symbol was mu more precisely mu s because it's static friction so before it moved between the two blocks is uh, 0 0.45 the bottom block is now pulled with well the same force calculate oh wait not not the same force uh, actually uh, is a new force oh by the way I just realized they have already given us the free body diagram okay a bit silly for me that uh, draw it again so there's a new force F uh, calculate the magnitude of this force maximum of this force so that uh, they would go together without slipping so basically uh, you may want to redraw the whole diagram something like this okay so four and six and then uh, what you do is you pull it with a force f that they call um, let me just label it as fp because i want to keep the capitalized f as net force uh, meaning and by intuition you can already imagine like when you pull this lower block if you put with a large force there's a certain way that of course the upper block cannot stick with it but if you pull it slowly or with a small force then uh, both of them can go together because of the friction between them so you may want to draw the free body diagram of each block separately let me clear out this area and uh, start to do the free body diagram okay so uh, for part b the floor kg that block that one will have a friction that keeps it with the like 6 kg that block so it must be moving to the right of course and if you consider the forces uh, vertical of course is to still have the weight and the reaction force but then uh, there must be a force to keep the block floor forward right so that is actually friction so the friction on block floor is actually going to the right similarly uh, you have block 6 that is on the table and uh, of course it has a pulling force that is the one that we want to find uh, for the maximum it has its own weight 
and also reaction force um, from the ground. Uh, at the same time, it also has a force that is uh, related to R4 uh, because of the action and reaction pair. Um, at the same time, because of the friction, you can see adding on the block, K, 4 kg that block, uh, it would, there will be an action and reaction pair also adding on block uh, 6 kg that one, but in the opposite direction like we learned earlier. So here, we'll need to draw the friction in the opposite direction. Okay, so uh, these should be, should be all the forces that you have for each of the block. So once again, uh, we will also find vertically, uh, there shouldn't be much anything like that is really that uh, important. So we'll just skip that. We'll just do horizontally for each of them. So by again, if F equals to MA for each cases, then we have uh, for the 4 kg that one, it will simply be the friction equals to the 4 kg times A. Once again, they move together, right? So this one will be even simpler that you know they must go together. And that is all for the forces. And then for 6 kg that one, uh, we actually have the 4 force pulling it. So FP minus the friction equals to the uh, 6 kg times A. So we have two equations, equation 1, equation 2. And if you look at uh, the unknown that we have, we have one unknown, two unknown, and three unknown. Three different kinds of unknown. Apparently, this friction is the same as this friction, this acceleration is the same as this acceleration. So three unknown, two equation. According to what you learn in mathematics uh, in algebra, you should know it is not possible to solve an exact value, a unique solution, unless you have one more equation. So by using your physics concept that you should know there is a way to construct one more equation. And that is also, uh, there's a hint from the question because they re uh, remember they have told you the coefficient of friction is 0 0.45, and that is a hint. Uh, think about the equation related to that, and that will be friction equals to, actually uh, it should be smaller or equal to static friction coefficient times the reaction force or normal force, okay? And so in our case, of course, uh, since we are talking about the maximum force pulling it, then the friction that we are talking about should also be uh, maximized already, like take the marginal value. So we just take it as equal. And R will be the R that uh, the block is experiencing. So that will be R for here. So uh, if you try to show what is uh, going on here, then you can express the friction as, as 0 0.45, which is given from the question. Well, R4, you can, uh, without writing, I mean, you can, of course, write one more equation for the vertical one. But then I guess uh, all of you can tell directly that would equals to 40 if we take G as 10. So let's just say 40. And then you can already find out the fraction by calculator. That is 18 Newton. And so after you got it, then I think everything will be easy to solve. So back to here, there will be 18 equals to 4A. So A equals by calculator 4.5. And substituting A back here. So FP minus 18 equals to 6. Okay, then you can basically solve the final answer. That will be 45 Newton. So that means if you pull uh, this setup right, with the whole configuration and you put it with a force larger than 45, then what will happen is uh, they will be slipping as if, as in the 4 kg that one on the top uh, will kind of fall behind because the friction is simply not enough to hold them together. And um, and you can only pull six block, six kg that block. If you only uh, pull with 45 or less, then you can just simply pull both things.